Hey there everyone, Maria Marquis here. In this video, we're going to talk about how you can create your first table and some of the customization options available to you. So I already have this spreadsheet that I've been working on and I wanna be able to bring this information into Coda. I have a few different options. The first thing I can do is I could just grab all this information, da 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 da, and I'm on a Mac today, so I'll do Command C, so copy, and then I'll do Command V and paste it in. But Control C, Control V works exactly the same way. And notice, Coda took a look at that doc, that spreadsheet, and said, hmm, what does this data look like? And it automatically created drop down menus for me, it automatically created date pickers, and even check boxes for that uh, little true false field that was over here. So I can now, instead of starting from scratch, make some customization. So I could come up here and decide, oh, you know what? Under the column options, I actually wanna change the colors of these teams because sensors feels more like a, a purple team to me, right? Or the same thing for my uh, status. I could go to my select list, column options, and say in progress should be yellow, not started should be gray, and then done should be green. So you can customize further. Now, maybe you also have a CSV file. No problem, that also works inside of Coda. You just type slash CSV, it's gonna pull up that handy little importer for you. You can then add the file, choose to create a new table, or just add it directly a table that you've already been working on, which I love to be able to add information so that you can have a full data set. And then you can also say, hey, are the first rows headers or not? So now you've got your information here in Coda, but we can actually decide to do some further customization. Like, oh, maybe I wanna grab this and expand it so we don't have that scrunched text. Or maybe I wanna move things around by saying, well, I want start and end date next to each other. You can also decide, hey, it's time for me to add some columns by just clicking the little plus sign right over here and choosing the type of column you'd like it to be. And adding rows is as simple as just scrolling down to the bottom, clicking new row, or even just pressing enter. That's also totally fine. So you can start to have that take on a new life and continue to be growing along with your ideas. Now, everything in Coda has options. We already saw that we've got some column options here, but our tables have options too. Notice over here, we just click on options and it opens up this handy little menu where we can decide under the table display, do we wanna see a title? Do we wanna see column headers or even turn off those grid lines to get the look and feel we're having, uh, having in our mind, as well as all the other different options to really customize how this data shows up. The key here is that tables in Coda allow you to make sense of the noise and to be able to do it in a way that's flexible enough to keep up with your imagination. So now it's your turn. Take a look at some of those spreadsheets you might have, or maybe a bulleted list you have stored away somewhere, and go ahead, put it into a table, and I'll see you next time.